Jeff Bezos and his Blue Origin project are a parallel to Elon Musk and Starship. In some ways, they're less different than one might expect, but there are significant differences. Both Bezos and Musk have big plans for space, far beyond launching constellations of communication satellites, which they both are doing. But that's a story for a different video. Elon's grander plans are widely known. He wants to build a city on Mars. Entire books have been written about how that idea is a crock of cheese. But another aspect of the strangely parallel developments of their rocket ambitions is that Jeff Bezos also has a grand plan for space. He wants to move heavy polluting industries off Earth so that we don't pollute this planet as much as we do now. This seems less fantastical than Elon's vision. Still, let's complete the comparison by pointing out some of the impracticalities. The thing about heavy polluting industries on Earth is that they are heavy. They handle lots of heavy materials like ores and coal. They often need lots of water, they need lots of energy, and of course produce lots of nasty waste. Reducing pollution on Earth is a worthy goal, and it's attractive to sensible people because it's not a wild-ass idea like a Mars colony, and Jeff isn't building a cult of personality around it. But space manufacturing, never mind for things that require big heavy equipment, just things that might be easier to do in microgravity, has never taken off, so to speak. There hasn't been a business case for space manufacturing. Jeff has an answer for some of the objections to moving polluting industries to say space. He says, dig the raw materials on the moon. The problem with that is you still need some very heavy capital, capital equipment. The million dollar dragline excavator you want to take to the moon could cost several billion to get it there, because even a small one weighs 8,000 tons, assuming it could be divided into equal payloads. That's something like 150 New Glenn rockets worth of payload, or roughly half that number of Starships, assuming Starship meets its payload specs. It's tough to make those numbers work. What makes it even tougher is if you apply some fraction of what it costs to lift the necessary capital equipment to the moon to do serious mining and refining of ores, is that a similar expenditure on Earth would go a very long way towards making those industries much cleaner than they are today. To give realism credit where it is due, Bezos puts his predictions about space mining a couple generations out into the future. We'll talk about more plausible economics and applications of big rockets in an upcoming video.